Hey guys, this is Samir for Digit.in and today we're going to review the Timex Metropolitan Plus. Now this is another attempt at an analog uh, watch giving you some smart capability, something like what we've seen with the Titan Juxt. But uh, just like the Juxt, this will give you some activity tracks, but it doesn't have a screen, so you can't really get your uh, smartphone notifications on the watch. But does it work well as an activity tracker that's packed into an analog watch? Well, we're about to find out. From the offset, the Timex Metropolitan Plus fails to feel like a wristwatch that costs about 10,000 rupees. It is a bit too light for my wristwatch preferences, something that the Titan Juxt got right with the premium construction materials and uniform design distributed across its chassis. In terms of looks, the Timex Metropolitan Plus looks very ordinary, even slightly dull, and the wristband options are nowhere close to being as classy as the Jux. Timex is possibly aiming to target the younger audience's choice of quirky accessories with this watch. Personally, it does not really appeal to me in terms of regular formal wear. However, there are a few positives to this. It's lightweight, comfortable and fits in well with let's say jerseys, shorts and running shoes. It feels a little overpriced though. The watch has six hands on the dial and two buttons to control all these aspects. The wristband can be changed easily and there are interlocks to hold them in place. Overall, there is too much of plastic which is a part of this spot, so it may not sit well with those looking to pick up an accessory that they want to show off on their wrist. All the Metropolitan does is gives you the steps, calorie counts and distance covered. The Timex Metropolitan Plus has a reasonably accurate pedometer that gives you thorough count of the number of steps that you've taken. It keeps data across 7 days on the watch and you will require the app on your phone to sync data once in a while and compare your statistics. It does not relay any notifications from the phone making it a normal wristwatch with a pedometer. Although there is no display on the watch, one dial on the top left corner of the watch shows you the connected status. The second dial is marked in percentage and relays how much you have worked towards your goal. Setting the watch to S will give you the steps data and D mode gives you the distance covered data. There is a fourth hand that gives you an estimate of how much you have worked towards your goals. Now the information displayed on the watch is through the analog hand so you really can't read it as easily as you would read it on a digital watch or a smart watch so it can take a little getting used to reading the information from the comfort of the dial but once you get used to it it's second nature. Another thing is that this watch doesn't track your heart rate so if you're someone that's looking for a heart rate in that fitness tracker then this may not be the one for you. The buttons and the crown are a bit stiff and not the easiest to long press. Moving to the app, it feels a tad more cluttered than the Titan Juxt app. It has a dashboard that shows you three activity parameters with watch and app setting controls near the bottom of the screen. Overall, in terms of performance, the Timex Metropolitan Plus Activity Tracker is a barebone representation of the steps you cover and calories burnt based on your daily activity. The data it shows is not exactly accurate, but it's close to the estimate of the real figure. Now, great thing about this watch is that it claims to have a battery life of about 18 months, which means that it has a battery life better than most smartwatches out there and even fitness trackers. But that's the deal. For a price of about 10,000 rupees, you do have dedicated fitness trackers that offer a lot more. The watch isn't particularly uh, beautiful to look at or it will actually appeal to a more younger audience looking for something that will stand out. And for its price, uh, well, the features on offer may not necessarily be the best combination. If you are looking for a dedicated fitness tracker, then there are a bunch of options out there available for you. Yes, the way the data is shown on the app is pretty simple and nice. And the way the analog representation is there on the watch will make you feel really cool reading the data. But then that's about it. So if you're in the market to spend 10,000 rupees on a fitness tracker, you may want to look at a dedicated fitness tracker and hold on till Timex refines the few cons that we have with this before making a purchase decision. As always, you can ask us questions about this product in the comment section below and we will do our best to answer them for you. You can hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the Digit YouTube channel for more videos like this one.